Now I know I've already predicted Florida State LSU two, three, no, oh, several months back. But I do want to create a case and scenario to where the underdog Florida State can win this game, as I do for MMA fights. So Florida State technically can win this game. One reason, consistency. They've had the same coach for three years. Now, as far as whether Norvell's a great coach or not, that's yet to be seen. I do think he's helping FSU get better. I do think Florida State's a better team. They'll be a pretty decent team this year. They won't be elite, most likely, but they'll be pretty good. They'll be competitive again, but win more games than what they did last year. Two, you take advantage of LSU. LSU is a program that has very talented, but they've been down the last two years. And now they have uh, Brian Kelly, who's a great coach from Notre Dame. But what he did in Notre Dame, that's Notre Dame. Now he's stepping into LSU for his first year in a brutal schedule. He's having to not make a whole make a whole new team, but have to run the team by his own stuff, by his own playbook and what he wants to do. So if he and so that's gonna be hard for LSU to deal with to an extent, especially in week one, whether you're at home or not. You know, home stadium, home state wise, LSU, Louisiana. Um number three. You have a quarterback that's mobile. I know LSU's defense is flooded with athletes, especially at the defensive line. Quarterbacks don't run over LSU like that. And this and Jordan Travis ain't gonna either. You know, even though I think he's gotten a lot better and he's gonna have a pretty good year. For him to be effective, I would say Florida State could use play action plays. Five of them. At least two of them need to be fake play actions. I, I emphasize at least two. So that way if you're at third and long or maybe second and long or something like that, you at least give Jordan or Travis, not, if not outrun the defense, get a big chunk of yardage to get in field goal range or to the very least pick up a first down. Because if you do play actions at least five times a game and you run the ball with the quarterback twice, Jimbo Fisher used to do it several times with DeAndre Francois. I remember when he did it in the Miami game in 2016. It was third and long and act like he was handing off the cook and it was Francois running the opposite way, away from everybody else, and he got a first down to win the game. So if he can do that, if Jordan Travis can do that, do those plays, FSU can do that, that'll be a big help to them. Number two, uh, number four, running backs. You have three good running backs. Toa Feely, uh, I forgot the other two guys' names, but I know Toa Feely pretty well because of the Clemson catch he had. I don't think you're going to run the ball over LSU given the athletes that you're dealing with, and I don't think Florida State's offensive line is going to be great. I think it'll be average pretty good. I think it'll hold up better than it used to in a long time. If Florida State can get at least 70 or 80 yards rushing in this game with running backs, if they can get average four or five yards per carry, the thing about that is if you can do that, you can open up the playbook and do more slant passes, swing passes, check down passes. Sometimes you can take a shot downfield and throw off LSU's defense, so... If you can do some of that, you can win this game. Offensively, what else? Um, Third down. I emphasize third down. And Jordan cannot just be a guy to run on third down. That's not going to happen. You know, he's going to have to learn to stay in the pocket and be able to throw to a guy that's wide open or to a, a guy who's able to catch the football. He's going to have to do a lot better at that. Um, if Florida State can do that, they'll, they'll be just fine offensively. Um, Let's talk about defense defensive line y'all got to get penetration to the quarterback you got to get to the quarterback you got look LSU's big problem is right now they have they don't know who their quarterback's going to be they probably say they do but they don't they got two different quarterbacks they're playing with right now and Brian Kelly's first year in a whole new team with two different quarterbacks that's not good I don't care what he did at Notre Dame LSU's a whole nother animal and you you were already he was already at Notre Dame for a long time so he kind of knew what to expect even if he just had two or three different players to play with use he kind of knew his own system. Right now, he's trying to enforce a new system with different quarterbacks. And I don't think either one's really, you know, uh, Deshaun Watson or Jordan Travis or Lamar Jackson, a guy that can run and throw. So if Florida State can bottle them up, that would be a big thing. Um, the running game for LSU, you got to hold. LSU's a team that likes to run the football. Brian Kelly with Notre Dame, he always ran the football pretty effectively. This past year, he struggled early on against Florida State. So that will ha they have to be able to do that again with LSU. I know LSU is a more talented, a better team than Notre Dame. But again, it's Brian Kelly's first year with LSU. If you can hold LSU to like 110 yards rushing, somewhere between 90 and 110 yards, 
and not let LSU get bust out big runs, just make a run the ball 30 times, 20, 25 times, and then they get that amount of yards, you make LSU earn every yard running the football, you have a chance. Next reason. Uh, I've already talked about pass rush. Um, fumbles. You got to force fumbles against LSU. LSU is going to run the football. They got a very strong offense. They're very strong in the trenches. Their offensive line will probably be no different than it usually is. It's very strong against ACC schools. Ask Miami against other schools. So you have to be able to force fumbles, rip the ball out. LSU doesn't fumble a lot. Well, guess what? You can attack that and make, especially in Brian Kelly's first game at home, that's a lot of pressure to win a home game against a team who's getting better like FSU. So if you can force at least two fumbles, maybe three, at least two or three, you have a chance. Next thing, uh, FSU secondary. You got to play better at being a receiver as a corner. What do I mean by that? If you see a ball coming your way, don't just knock the ball into the air, knock it away. Catch that ball and come down with it. Get interceptions. If you can get at least do that twice, meaning you need four turnovers, you win this game. Next thing that FSU needs to do, hold LSU to field goals in the red zone. LSU is a very strong team, but if you can stop offenses to field goals, you can win games. That's why Georgia had a lot of close games point-wise instead of running up 40, 50 points on people because their red zone offense was never great. They settled for a lot of field goals. A lot of the best teams, Alabama at some point was doing that, and sometimes they'd miss field goals. LSU, I'm not saying they'll miss field goals. Try to block them, but at least hold them to three points. That way you can keep your offense in this game and give you a chance to win this game. And finally, FSU's turnovers. They cannot afford to turn the ball over in in Louisiana because Louisiana is home to LSU. If you don't turn the ball over... You win this game. That's a big if, though, for FSU. Can they do all those things? For week one, after a tune-up game, yes, very possible. So in this case, Florida State can win this football game. Will they? I'm not picking them. But if they win, you got to see a lot of these reasons. Turnovers, run for 70, 80 yards with your running backs, wear down a defense with that, play action passes, five of them. Make sure two of them are play action runs and fakes. Um... Convert third down with with Jordan Travis's improved passing ability. Number seven, get to the quarterback. FSU has got to do that better than with just one guy who's not there anymore with Jermaine Johnson. They got to get their whole defensive line to do it. Number eight, you got to force fumbles, at least two of them. Rip the ball out, get the ball back. Number nine, interceptions, get at least two picks in those games. LSU's quarterback situation is not figured out. Take advantage of it and take the ball away. And number nine, hold LSU to field goals. If Florida State does those nine things... They can upset LSU.